Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is the Amazon Fire Max 11, which is the company's latest tablet, its most powerful tablet, and it ships with Fire OS 8, which is a fork of Google Android that includes Amazon's App Store instead of the Google Play Store. Uh, officially, this tablet does not support the Google Play Store. If you really want a tablet that uh, works perfectly with all of your Google apps and services, you should probably get something else. There are a number of other tablets on the market, but it's hard to beat Amazon's tablets when it comes to bang for the buck. Uh, for $230 or substantially less if you picked it up on Prime Day or another day when it's on sale, this tablet has a really nice 11-inch uh, 2000 by 1200 pixel display, a fairly speedy processor, and support for an optional keyboard and pen. Uh, so it's a pretty nice tablet, but you might wind up in situations where there are apps that you want to run that are not available. So I'm going to show you how you can install the Google Play Store on this tablet. Uh, keep in mind, I'm shooting this video in mid-July 20. Uh, 23, and some of these things may change over time, so make sure to check out the link to this article that I'm showing here at lilliputing.com for any of the latest information. Uh, as of right now, though, th everything that I'm going to show you does seem to work properly. So uh, the first thing you need to do is go into the settings and scroll down until you find the option that says security and privacy. Look for the option that says apps from unknown sources. And if you're just sort of setting this up for the first time and you haven't already installed a bunch of apps, there's probably only gonna be one thing here, the one that says Silk Browser, and it will probably say not allowed, meaning it's not allowed to install apps from unknown sources. Uh, we can change that by just checking that little button. And now we can download apps from the web browser and install them into our tablet. Uh, so that was pretty simple. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is download and install in order for specific applications. So we're going to go to that Silk browser. Um, we're going to go to this article at lilliputing.com. Again, the link will be in the description. And uh, I've got step-by-step -step things here that show you to do what we just did. But it also, just minimize some ads. Um, what we'll have here are a list to the four different apps you're going to install. Now, these are all going to come from a place called apkmirror.com, which is a... a website that has links to download a number of Android applications. Uh, it's fairly well trusted, but it's also a fairly ad heavy site. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. And on this page, that's the download link. So download APK. Uh, you'll see other stuff like the ads almost always say things like download. So you want to make sure you get the one that says download APK, uh, verified safe to install. So uh, there's four things you're going to install, the Google Account Manager, Google Services Framework, and Google Play Services, and then the Google Play Store. And this has been the case for Amazon tablets for quite a while. Uh, on this particular model, which is running uh, 8.3 dot whatever uh, version is available at the moment, um, I've got the links to the specific versions that you're going to install. These may change over time, uh, depending on the operating system. But basically, click Download APK you'll get a little option that probably says file may be harmful, and we're gonna say download anyway. And then we'll get a little checkbox there showing that it has downloaded. So uh, I'm not gonna walk you through downloading all four of these files. I'll just uh, point out that there are four of them, and then you need to install them in order. In order to do that, we're gonna to go to the files application, which is over here. And by default, this is gonna open in your documents folder. Now I'm in, uh, landscape view here so you can see there's a little navigation area that lets me click to download. If you're doing this in portrait, you won't see that. So you just click to bring that up, click to downloads, and we'll see the four files I've already downloaded. Uh, now from this view, it might be a little hard to remember the order we're supposed to do. So if you've got another device that you're reading the instructions from, that's fine. But here, since I'm doing everything on the one device, I'm going to go ahead and split screen so that I can see the correct order, and I'm gonna walk through them. So, um, oh, and the other thing I should point out here is that by default, it might show them like this, so you can't see their full file names. This is the grid view. We can click there to switch to the list view, which should show complete file names. Um, so we see .com, .google, .android, .gsf, .login. That's the first one we want to install. So I'm gonna tap it, and now we're gonna get this little message that says, your tablet and personal data are more vulnerable to attack if you install apps from outside this uh, play, uh, Google, not Google, the Amazon App Store. Uh, I understand that. I'm going to say continue and then install. 
Next, we're going to do one that ends with GSF. Next, we're going to do one that ends with GMS. And then finally, the one that says vending. Done. Now, you'll see that it says open. We don't actually want to open it yet because we're going to reboot the tablet first, and then we're going to log in. So I'll show you. If we go to the home screen, that's a little weird. There we go. If we go to the home screen, the Play Store is right there, but just it's uh, sort of best practice at this point to press and hold the power button uh, and then either choose power off or restart. Since I chose power off, now I'm going to go ahead and press and hold the power button again. And when the tablet reboots, then it's time to go ahead and install or uh, log into the Play Store. So let's go through that process. Choose sign in. And as long as you're connected to the internet, it should let you see this screen. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and log in, and I'll be back in a moment. All right, and we're back, and you can see that I've got the Google Play Store installed here. We can uh, click on apps, books, games. Anything that you've previously paid for should now be available for download. It should synchronize with your Google account and so forth. Uh, now, that said, there are a couple of things that you might want to keep in mind. Uh, not every app is necessarily going to work as well on Fire OS as it does on uh, Android because it might tap into services that are not available. This is running uh, Amazon's fork of Android, not Google's version of Android. So, for instance, I'm installing the Chrome web browser here, and it's been pretty widely reported that uh, While well, it shows up over here, you know, if I just try to start using it, I'm going to run into some sort of difficulties. And a workaround that people have found is if you press and hold and then click App Info and then Permissions, you'll notice that mm, all of the permissions here are denied. We can change that and say I want to allow access to the camera when using the app. Contacts, Allow. Files and media, allow location, allow when using the app, and microphone, allow when using the app. Uh, now, keep in mind that allowing some of these permissions might be more than some people want to do, but that seems to resolve the issue. And now we can go ahead and open the Chrome web browser and should be able to navigate. using that browser. So, uh, like I said, some things may not work perfectly, but for the most part, you've got the Google Play Store installed. It makes it much, much easier to install apps. Now, some apps, if you just need a handful of things that might not be available in the Amazon uh, App Store, you could just try going to apkmirror.com or another site and seeing if you can just install those APK files. But the advantage to using something like the Play Store is it allows you to also uh, keep those apps up to date. Make sure to be careful about any apps that are available both in the Play Store and the Amazon App Store, for instance, Audible or Prime Video, because uh, your tablet might try to download updates from both stores and they can conflict and that can cause problems. So make sure that you keep an eye on you know, any sort of apps like those if you do plan to use them. Uh, but otherwise, this is sort of how to get started um, uh, you know, there may or may not be some troubleshooting that needs to happen after that. Uh, I also definitely recommend checking out Fire Toolbox if you want to sort of automate some of these steps. It's a little bit more complicated in some ways because it involves plugging this into a computer with a USB cable and running some commands on that computer. But it's also a little bit simplier because it allows you to just sort of uh, click some menu options and say, 
you know, install Google Play services on my tablet. And it sort of walks you through that whole process. But more importantly, it's also a repository of other hacks for Amazon tablets. So Fire Toolbox, for instance, might let you block over the air updates from Amazon, which could have security implications, could mean that you don't necessarily get all the latest software from Amazon that you might want, but it also means that you don't get the software from Amazon that you don't want, which might, for instance, one day take away access to the Play Store or make it more difficult to install. Um, it's kind of a moving target, doesn't always work, but you know whatever the latest methods are for blocking updates are usually in Fire Toolbox, as well as other tools for doing things like changing the uh, home screen, or at least hijacking the home screen, so pressing this button instead of bringing up Amazon's very Amazon-centric uh, apps and services here might take you to something else. Uh, so Fire Toolbox, definitely worth checking out. You can find the link uh, at lilliputing.com. So uh, this is Brad Linder with the Fire Maps 11, just doing a quick overview of how to install the Google Play Store, why you might want to, and uh, and showing that it works. <laughs>